hi welcome back to my channel well in this video we'll try to learn some of the basic principles which are involved in experimental designs or designing of an experiment as these experimental designs are widely used in agricultural sciences and forestry where we where we are interested to test the homogeneity or to, to perform the group comparison among different objects of comparisons so let us proceed two major practical aspects of scientific investigation are collection of data and interpretation of collected data now what are the different ways by which we can generate this information or by which we can uh, gather this information which is majority of the times in numbers so how we are going to collect this information how we are going to collect the data the two ways are either we can go for sample surveys or we can perform an experimental design as far as sample surveys are concerned, they are focused on naturally existing populations and aim is to draw conclusion about the entire population based on a representative sample. Now, as far as these experimental designs are con uh, concerned, they involve controlled interventions to study specific factors or treatments which are known as objects of comparison and their effects. Now, two things are very important in experimental design. It involves two important terms, experiment and designs. An experiment is the act of conducting a control test or investigation, or we can say an experiment is a trial under control condition, or we can say an operation performed under uh, defined uh, conditions, well-defined conditions. In the field of agriculture, an experimental research is conducted to answer a particular question or solve a particular problem like we used to do in other kind of sciences. In experimental research, different kinds or levels of a particular factor or several factors are evaluated because this is the main thing where we are interested to do the, evalu to do the evaluation or to, the, to do the group comparison. The second keyword is a design which means arrangement, arrangement of these treatments, arrangement of these groups of comparison, arrangement of different varieties, arrangement of different breeds of animals, uh, arrangement of different uh, machines. In agricultural research, therefore, proper design is important because we want to establish or find true results without any doubt in mind. With improper or wrong uh, experimental design, uh, the results may not be convincing or may not be reliable so the aim in conducting research is to find in context to the agricultural sciences or forestry is to find if significant different exist differences exist among the levels or kind of the treatments or objects of com comparisons or different kind of factor combinations which is accomplished by the use of analysis of variance which has already been uh, discussed in my previous videos now, what are those experimental design? Experimental design or design of an experiment is a logical construction of an experiment in which degree of uncertainty with which the inference is drawn may be well defined. So it involves planning of an experiment, obtaining the relevant information from this experiment and making the statistical analysis of the data which is obtained from this experiment. Now the important thing is why do we need experimental designs because we want to control variability by means of uh, exploring, development, studying or demonstrating or giving some kind of demonstration. As far as exploring is concerned, uh, we usually explore different uh, crop varieties, cultivation techniques, soil management practices and so on or we can say pest control methods to identify new approaches or improvements for example uh, we might uh, we might explore the use of new genetic varieties that are resistant to these disease or pests or explore alternative irrigation methods to conserve water now as far as the development is concerned we usually use to develop new agricultural practices technologies or products uh, which are based on the findings from exploratory sustainable uh, experiments. Uh, for example, uh, based on the promising results uh, from an exploratory study, we might develop uh, new uh, uh, 
uh, fertilizers with optimized uh, nutrient composition or develop precision farming tools for more or efficient resource management. Now, what we used to do, uh, as far as the study is concerned, we used to conduct systematic studies uh, to understand underlying principles and mechanisms governing different agricultural processes. Uh, for example, we might be interested uh, to study the effects of different irrigation regimes or crop water use efficiency or study the impact of crop rotation on soil health and best management. Now, we will also try to demonstrate the effectiveness and practical application of specific agricultural practices or technologies to farmers, uh, extension agents, and other st stakeholders. Uh, for instance, uh, we might conduct field demonstration to show cost the yield improvements achieved through the adoption of new crop varieties, or we try to demonstrate the effectiveness of uh, integrated pest management strategies in reducing the pesticide use. So overall, in experimental design, we use to control variability, or we can say in experimental designs, especially in context agricultural or forestry, agriculture or forestry, we explore new uh, innovative ideas, develop new practices or uh, technologies, uh, or we use to study underlying processes and demonstrate practical applications to advance agricultural uh, sustainability, productivity, and resilience. Now, there are some of the important terms which are involved in uh, these experimental designs. The first one is uh, treatment. Uh, these are nothing is the objects of comparison and experiment, uh, like we might be interested to evaluate different kinds of varieties or different kinds of chemicals. Uh, experimental unit, the object to which the treatments are applied, it may be a piece of flat, maybe the animal, or it can be a plot. Experimental error, uh, we can say a plot plot variation in terms of yield, or the variations which are beyond human control or uh, extraneous factors. Or we can say the variation in response caused by the extraneous factor known as experimental error, variation in yield from plot to plot. So, based on these uh, three important terms, we can say the choice of treatment, method of assigning treatments to the experimental units. And the arrangement of experimental units in different uh, patterns is known as experimental design or design of an experiment. Now, there are three important uh, basic principles which are involved in designing for an experiment, and uh, they play a very important role uh, when we are trying to implement different kind of experimental design or different kind of situation. The first one is replication, which is nothing the repetition of the treatment. The second one is randomization, the random allocation of the treatments. And the third one is local control. Uh, we can say uh, it is usually used to convert a heterogeneous experimental material into homogeneous, uh, and the involvement of blocking is very much used in case. This diagram is used as known as Fisher's diagram. So, as far as the replication is concerned, it is repeated application of the treatments, or we can say when the treatment uh, is applied only once, uh, we have no means of knowing about the variation in the results of the treatment. Only when we repeat several times, we can estimate the uh, experimental error or we can average out uh, the experimental error. So with the help of experimental error, we can determine whether the observed differences uh, between the treatments or objects of comparisons are real or we can say mm, they are not real. And in statistically speaking, we might say whether the differences between the treatments is significant or it's not significant, whether it is real or by chance. Randomization is a random allocation of the treatments. When all the treatments have equal chance of being allocated to different experimental units, it is known as randomization. So if our conclusions are valid or to be valid, treatment means and differences among treatment means should be estimated without any bias, then this randomization has to be adapted. Or here we can say the human bias or subject to bias. Uh, in order to overcome that, randomization is very important. And local control. Experimental error is based on the variation from experimental unit to unit. This suggests that if we group the homogeneous experimental units in the blocks which are uniform uh, within themselves, the experimental error will be reduced considerably. Uh, grouping of a homogeneous experimental units into blocks is known as local control of error. So in nutshell, we can say in order to have a valid estimate of uh, experimental error, the principle of, along, uh, of replication together with randomization are used. So 
they two complement each other in context the valid estimate of experimental error so if we are interested to reduce the experimental error then uh, the blend of replication and local control are used so these three uh, are actually the basic principles of experimental design and uh, they are used in almost uh, in all design although there are some exceptions now uh, before uh, starting an another series a brief idea what we are going to study in the next video uh, is we will start with the single factor experimental designs uh, these single factor experiments or uh, we can say these are the experiments in which only one single factor varies while all others are kept constant uh, so single factor uh, experiments are further categorized into two uh, categories one is complete block design and another one is incomplete block design both these uh, categories are uh, we can say uh, both these uh, categories by blocks uh, although this is meant for small number of treatments when we are interested to evaluate small number of treatments an incomplete block design is usually used to evaluate a large number of treatments and in case of complete block design there's a complete set of treatments within a block and in this we don't have a complete set of uh, treatments within the block so this is the only difference between these two and these are usually these complete block designs are usually used when we are interested to evaluate a small number of treatments so when the treatments are very large we used to go for an incomplete block design so as far as these uh, incomplete complete block designs are concerned uh, uh, we have different types of designs uh, like uh, CRD completely randomized design RCBD randomized complete block design and LST Latin square design and in incomplete block design we have different types of uh, design balanced incomplete block design partially balanced incomplete block design lattice design so different types of design so in the next video we will start with the basic uh, CRD uh, completely randomized design hope uh, you have got an idea about what are the basic principles of experimental design so in next video we will start with CRD thank you very much